How can you work your glutes like you would in bridges while you're pregnant? Come on, I'll show you. Hey, Tori from Mommy Bar. I have a great little excerpt for you today from class that is perfect for when you're pregnant and afterwards with baby. Uh, the only thing I want you to just be a little mindful of is your wrists, because especially if you're pregnant, you have all that extra relaxing. I don't want you to push too hard into your wrists. And a lot of the times after baby, um, your joints can still be um, very flexible and it can hurt to have all that pressure on your wrist. So take breaks throughout if you need to. Um, I had to do this modification teaching class today because it has gotten very uncomfortable for me to be doing bridges laying on my back. So here are some bridge modifications that are great for working your tush, your hamstrings, and core and pelvic form. All right. So you're gonna sit on a chair, the edge of a chair, a bench, or something firm. Put your hands down next to your hips. Walk your feet out in front of you, knees up, and then you're gonna lift your hips up towards the ceiling and roll down through your back. You're gonna curl your tailbone up, press your glutes up towards the ceiling, and roll down through your spine, just like you would if you were on your back, one vertebrae at a time. And we're gonna do this 10 times. Make sure you're breathing. Inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. Try not to lock your elbows out. You wanna have a nice little bend in them. Pulling your shoulders down, shoulder blades back and together so that your shoulders are not up touching your ears. Right now, you're just gonna drop your hips down and up about an inch, really just basically relaxing your glutes and squeezing them up. This is 10 times here as well. And last one, you're gonna hold. Now you're gonna lift your heels up and down, keeping your glutes um, squeezed up and your hips as far up towards the ceiling as you can. Good, two more here. Last one, you're gonna keep your hips, or sorry, your heels lifted, and you're gonna drop one heel at a time, so you're gonna alternate. You wanna to try to keep those hips even, stable. You don't want one hip dropping down with the heel, and keep those glutes squeezed in, belly button squeezed into your spine, pelvic floor engaged, and keep that breathing. Good, relax, roll yourself down, take a nice little break. Um, shake out your arms, make sure your wrists aren't bothering you. And now we're gonna do some leg extensions in that bridge position. All right, so scoot yourself to the edge of that chair or bench, walk your feet out, hands beside you, press those hips up to the ceiling and you're gonna hold them up and you're gonna extend one leg straight at a time. Again, keeping that core pulled in nice and tight, breathing, pelvic floor engaged, glutes engaged. Really push into that foot that is staying on the ground as you extend your other leg to maintain a level hips. And remember also pull those shoulder blades down and back together so your shoulders are not up at your ears. Good, we're gonna do 20 of these, so 10 on each leg. Good, now you're gonna take your right leg out and you're gonna roll down through that bridge and back up, keeping those hips nice and even, so this is like a one leg bridge. Four and fifth time here. Good, you're gonna switch legs. And you're gonna roll down and up. Five, four, three, two, and last one. All right, good job. 
All right, well, I hope you enjoyed your bridge modification series there. Really felt it in your boots and um, we're able to help maintain a nice tight core and pelvic floor. If you have questions, you want to join in for some one-on-one -on -one training with me online or in person, head to the website and make sure you subscribe to our, our YouTube channel, like and comment on our videos. Tell us what you like, what you're interested in learning. All right, I'll see you next time.